was just clicking along and I heard something come crashing down on the inside. Hey everyone and welcome back. As you can see, I have left this thing kind of parked jabberwad. I left it this way on purpose all week. It's been sitting this way. So since the last video you saw, it has been parked right like this. And I just kind of gave it a walk around a little while ago. I'm just really liking the way this is going to make my life. My life is going to be super hard working on this project. So I was trying to make it a little easier on me in a couple areas. One of those being laying on your backside working on stuff like this. But just to walk up and work on a panel. And I can just walk straight up to it, cut this section out, and go from there. I like that a lot. <laughs> I want to fix this wheel. I'm going to put a spacer there. Someone mentioned the crown on the wheel is probably, the wheel has kind of a crown to it, is probably causing that one to kick out. The other ones aren't doing it. So I think if I put a spacer on this side and just kick that wheel so it's forced to stay over, that will probably fix that. So I want to do that today. I want to clean that tank up. And let's be honest, you and I both know we got to get this over at least once and get it on film. So let me get busy and I'll show you the progress as it happens. Okay, I'm gonna drop this thing back to level so that I can then use a jack right here. We can lift it up, get that wheel out of there, and we'll, uh, we'll take a look and see if we can't remedy that kicking out situation. My camera is not cooperating because it says it's too cold. So we'll get what we get. It's not really that chilly out today, it's about 30. Workable. Okay, finally got the brake off. got a chain over on the, uh, it's currently on the other side, it's adding just enough weight to kick that out. Get this problem child out of here, or at least see if we can't. I hate working in gloves. <laughs> I do it all day long at my regular job. Let's see what we see here. It's even got like a spiral look to it on the. Uh, a little shaft. I say, I say, by Joe, we just put a spacer on that. Let's go find something that'll fit on there. See if we can't fix our little problem. 
I don't really have anything that fits it perfect, but what I do have is lots of extra alternator generator pulley shims. And those will work. I don't have anything really big enough to go around that. But those are. So I think I have six. That might be too many. Stacked up in there. That's a little snug. Let me take one out. I think that'll turn okay. Not a whole lot of resistance there. Might work. What do you think? Try it. What do we get to lose at this point? Right? Pretty good. I'm gonna go with that. Yeah, take it back down off the jack. See what we got. This is gonna act different once I get the weight of the bus down on it too. I'm happier with that. Lock in there. It moves pretty easy now. And then I'm just hooking a safety chain and walking around hooking a safety chain on. Keep in mind, whatever I do here, I have to be able to do by myself. So I work at a very slow pace and I just kind of uh, do a little bit, stop, check it, do a little bit more, stop, check it, make sure that nobody's going to get hurt, that nobody being me, because I happen to be the only one out here working on this and that's going to be the case most of the time so I got to make sure I can do it safely and if I have to do it slow that's fine so we are going to attempt to flip this thing over today at least I want to but I'm having trouble keeping a, a camera on it's not that cold but the wind is whipping through and the wind is making the cameras think that it's cold outside so it's shutting them off so I am going to get that horizontal save the camera battery put it against my uh, in my pocket against my body heat <laughs> And once we get it horizontal, then maybe we can film a little bit of it. Even the two cameras, the magnetic cameras I was trying to put inside, keep dying. And again, it's not that cold. It's maybe 30 out. So I had to weld a little handle. Get that right here. When it got to a certain point, I couldn't, I didn't have anything to grab onto to pull it up. Again, it moves pretty easy. But that just makes it that much easier. So I welded a little handle there. It's I found that the front is super light compared to the back. So I put the handles on the back. And I may move the chain stop to the back as well. Because that keeps it away from the glass. I don't want it clanking. If it were to break, I don't want it to clank and snap a window. So let me get a horizontal. Turn you back on. I've moved the safety brake to the back so that if it does go kawam it hopefully doesn't take out a window uh, we're pretty much dead horizontal here's looking through the bus get it to focus down in there pretty bizarre seeing it this way and then uh, our bottom and now we're completely up I did the nice thing about being 
uh, between the carport poles works out great. I can put my back against that, against, sorry, it's a little dark, against this pole here, and I can just push my foot against this rail. Works out perfect. And see if we can tip it just a little bit more. And it may decide at some point to go kawam. But I don't think it's going anywhere if it does decide to do that. All right, let's see if we can get a safety on this other side because it's going to want to start to to kind of tip our other way. Because once we get once we get the heavy part kind of up in the air, it's going to want to go by itself. Uh, it moves really a lot easier than I thought it would, honestly. The hardest part's getting it, getting it just before horizontal before it kicks over. So let me go get another safety and I'll hook it up over here. And I'll probably get a uh, stop or a break on this side so we can have two, one on each side. That way, whichever way it kicks, it's going to sit pretty still. I'll bring you back. I thought while we had it kind of sideways, I'd go ahead and open up that rear hatch. <laughs> there he is. You know, there's no, there's no holes in the roof except for up at the very top where they had, uh, I don't know if it was like a emergency vehicle light or some kind of delivery van light or what it was. Uh, it's starting to get a little sketchy, a little dodgy, <laughs> a little scary. But it's solid. I mean, when I shake it, the bus doesn't look like it's going to fall. It acts pretty secure. So I'm just going to keep ticking it around. And once we get it around this time, uh, we'll, I'll be a little more confident in its ability to hold it. So the next time we do it, we'll go around a little faster. Coming back down will be easy. The hard part will be controlling it. Make it a controlled fall instead of a kaboom. So yeah, I didn't move the double cap and the beetle out of the way. They'll be fine. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> Famous last words, right? All right, it's a couple days later. The uh, The wind is terrible today, and it's pretty chilly. We had a nice storm, M mini ice storm yesterday. It warmed up. It's, uh, it's in the 40s, but with the wind, it just sure doesn't feel like it. Uh, I am ticking this thing around with come-alongs. I can push the bus. It's not really that heavy, honestly. With everything out of it, it's not that bad at all. It's much lighter than I anticipated. But I I want to just tick it over a little bit at a time. Tick, 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 then go release it. And um, that, way, that allows me to keep track of the wheels, where the wheels are, and just go slow. If something does happen and this thing jumps off, I don't want to be... Uh, picking it up in pieces so we're almost where we're completely upside down and I was just clicking along and I heard something come crashing down on the inside if you can see it there's a stick landing right above that door right there about scared me to death look at all the rust that's coming down I don't know if you can see that or not. Wish I could have a camera in here. It's just cold enough I can't keep anything turned on. Big pile in the back, back there too. <laughs> the sounds as it makes crunching around. Leave it on for this. It moves, it's starting to move really easy now because we're getting where it's cranking over. And then I have a safety come along set up on this side so that once it gets completely, we're getting close, once it gets completely upright. All right, keep it going. 
I apologize in advance for the wind. I'm going to try and get it as it's going over. The camera's probably going to die or fall over one of the two. Pretty close. One more, maybe. Two more. Hey, the camera stayed going. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Pickle is upside down. I cannot believe the rust is holding together, says I, just as it gets ready to drop. <laughs> the wind is just nuts today. That's pretty awesome. I'm really happy with the build. I'm really happy with the way it handles going around. I love it. This chain here is just a safety. I probably should tighten that up a little bit. Ha ha! It is holding itself just fine. No issues for all of those of you that were concerned. It, it's, sa it's stable. It's solid. No real issue. When the wind whips through here, and we've got pretty high winds today, it does kind of want to jump a little which is kind of scary to watch but it it's stable and i've come along on each side i got a big u-bolt thank you all the auction purchases that i have made that one's a little sketchy but i think it'll be fine so i've got one of those on each side and eventually once we've tipped towards the land rover uh i'll have to take the come along off of uh, the land rover side and move it over here and we'll have to ratchet one at a time back back off of one onto the other off of one onto the other i just can't i don't want to let it rip by myself so that's what the plan is so we came up towards the double cab we're going to go down towards the land rover and just make sure we can make a complete revolution all right we're coming on around here i've got both come alongs now on the same side I'm just walking it over slow The idea with this is just to work smarter, not harder. And again, I state, someone accused me and said, you repeat yourself all the time. It's how I think, it's how my brain kind of works. But we're doing good. We're staying pretty much in alignment with the wheels. This one here is kicking out just a little bit. I don't like that. So we're gonna put some shims in that one like we did the back. But all in all, I cannot believe it held together going around. We're not over yet, but. <laughs> How about them apples? All right, carry on. I won't have help when I'm moving this by myself. So I've got to get my technique down. I'm shocked it wants to actually kind of sit there. Now we're kind of where it 
it wants to go over. All right, our sleet is picking up again. You're probably gonna hear that. Wind has not died down at all. Whew. I boo-booed. I ran my cone along on top of my safety. So I can't get that back out unless I tighten that one. Let me get that figured out and I'll bring you back. All right, that's all fixed. There it is folks, one complete rotation. It did not fall in on itself. Praise the gods and the man Jesus, as Stephen King would say. And I'm gonna call that a win. So with that, in this nasty weather, I am gonna sign off for today. I don't know if you can hear the sleet or not. Here's all the junk that fell out. Take a look inside and see how bad it is. <laughs> Woo. Wow. Look up in the, the rail. I don't know if you can see that or not, but that is dirt. Well, he'll go over. And I am a very happy girl with that. So with that, I will say this, once we get the frame solid and I don't have to go over as slow as I did, as I did this time, uh, once we get it all solid, before we take it off the rotisserie, we will uh, do a complete rotation where we can kind of spin it around a little quicker. And just to too gun shy that time. Looks a little wacky with the come along up there, but with that, everyone, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to comment and subscribe. I love the comments, so keep them coming. And I'll catch you next time. Here's up inside. <laughs> After he went over. Not as bad as I expected, actually. Not too bad. Oh, pickle. Pickle, pickle. Alright, everyone. See you next time.
Stick the other side in. You gotta pull really hard. Going all the way down with it. Wow, what'd you make? A little box? I did it. That's pretty cool. I made a little racetrack piece. You did. Fantastic. <laughs> I made a little train track piece. Awesome. Let's How make more of them. Okay, let's not use copper. Okay. Why? Because it's expensive. We've got other stuff we can use. Okay.